Hello friends and welcome to Amaka's Healthy Kitchen. I hope you all are doing well. So if today is your first time coming across here, you are welcome. And if you're coming back, thank you so, so much. I appreciate you all. So in today's video, we are going to make bean cake, which is called Akara in Nigeria. Bean cake is popular known in West Africa. So, so many people enjoy it and they use it as dish they use it as a meal they use it as breakfast but in nigeria it is a traditional delicacy enjoyed by most nigerians and we call it akara so yeah in today's video i'm going to show you how to make your authentic simple and easy akara yeah, so if you want to know how I make it, if you want to know how I do this, please keep on watching. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Tap on the bell icon as well. In that way, you will get notifications whenever I upload a video. So thank you all for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Bye, friends. Walk to you so I can be close to you. It's really simple if you look at it that way. Mm. Time that we get by with money, we don't know. Pockets empty, but us are full anyway. Hey, playing like children and love like our You were too good. But I wanted you anyway I always loved you Over my head Even when you lived alone To make your parents mad Say goodbye To your own life Turn the page Follow my bed I don't care if Loving you So here is the beans I'm going to be using and this is black eye beans and uh, inside here I have one kg of beans but I'm just going to use only about three cups of beans. So the next thing I'm going to do is to soak the beans inside the water and I'm going to make sure the water is above the beans and I'm going to cover and see you shortly. So here is our beans after 10 minutes and as you can see it has risen up a little bit and yeah here I'm going to continue to be washing this and I will show you the next thing to do. So as you can see, I'm washing this and I'm putting a little bit of a strength in washing this and you can see that the beans is instantly peeling off by itself. You can see this. So I'm going to go ahead and get a sieve to help me to be sieving out the back of the beans. So as you can see what I'm doing, I'm just going to continue to do the same thing until the beans is properly clean. Yeah, this is it. As you can see, this is the final outcome. You can see how beautiful, how sparkling clean our beans is looking right away. 
so here are some of the ingredients i'm going to be using as you can see here i have one large um bell pepper and i have two large onions and i have one scotch bonnet if you want your beans to be nice like if you want it to have that natural taste that authentic natural taste make sure you add a lot of onions so now i'm going to slice all this inside our bowl and i'm going to show you the next process So now I'm going to go ahead and transfer some of this inside our blender and I'm going to start blending. So before then, before I start blending, I'm going to go ahead and add water. So if you are making especially akara, you want to be careful the quantity of water you are adding so that your akara will not be too watery. So now I'm just going to start blending. I'm going to add the rest of the beans. We have finished blending our beans and uh, you can see I'm going to go ahead and get everything out and I'm going to divide this um, into two because I want to be adding more pepper inside one. So here as you can see I added ginger and garlic paste and I added a little bit of um, salt and I'm going to mix everything together. So I tested for salt and uh, it looks like the salt isn't that uh, much. So I'm adding a little bit of salt. So as you can see, I added just a um, half tablespoon of salt. So the next thing you can see I'm adding here is one big magista. And I'm going to mix together. So after this, I thought I should blend this one more time because uh, it's not giving me that smooth consistency. So yeah, I'm blending it one more time. As you can see, this is the one I just finished blending now and I'm going to go ahead and blend this, the other one and I'll just show you the two of them so you can see the difference. So I'm going to blend the other one right away. So after blending both of them to the consistency that I like and I'm going to go ahead and add spring onion in one and then chopped pepper. Yeah, kids might not like this one because of the pepper. So after that, this is the time to fry our akara. Like this is the <laughs> this is the beautiful part of it. This is the fun part of it. So now as you can see, I added sunflower oil and uh, I left it to be a little bit hot and I added onion. 
to let me know if it's you know hot enough and yeah it is okay for me to start frying acca you want to make sure your oil is not too hot and you want to make sure it's hot enough for you to start frying your akara. If your oil is not hot enough, your akara is going to be soaking too much oil. And again, if your oil is too hot, it's going to burn the outside akara and make the inside not to be well fried so yeah after some minutes as you can see i'm just um carefully turning the akara like i'm flipping them um down you can see just gently you want to be um careful doing this as well as you can see how beautiful how authentic how you know um gorgeous this akara is looking right now keep watching my friends So at this point your akara is almost done and you know that your akara is done when it starts you know turning golden brown and I'm going to go ahead and get them out. So the last of it I'm going to go ahead and add one egg and I'm going to mix everything together yeah and i'm going to start frying if you haven't added um egg in your akara before you can just do that in your like the next batch just to see how it looks or how it tastes like it tastes differently and you know amazing you can just try it So now as you can see I'm just flipping our kara just to make sure that they are properly fried both in and out. So now I'm going to prepare and fry our second bowl of akara. As you can see here I'm breaking two eggs inside it. And I'm going to make sure I mix properly. So after this, I'm going to go ahead and add our remaining um, chopped pepper and uh, spring onion. And I'm going to mix well. Yeah, you can give this a go if you haven't added any um, egg in your akara before you can just give this a go and see how it looks or how it tastes but the look is absolutely beautiful and it tastes amazing So we are done like done 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 this is the end part of it so yeah this is the finished look of our akara go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it if you like it so now this is the one i didn't add spring onion and extra pepper you can see how beautiful you know inside looks and i'm going to show you the one we added um pepper and then spring onion 
so you can see how the inside looks as well voila yeah this is it guys like this is it let me know if you like this let me know if you give this a try if you haven't so this sakara you can actually pair it with custard you can pair it with oats you can pair it with um akam like yeah on this day we paired us with oats and it was absolutely yummy like this is one of my family's best breakfast like it is amazing so now i'm just creating love hearts and um, my children love when you use this to create a love heart as they are eating so yeah as you can see the look you know is um very very catchy and uh, yeah that is it we are going to enjoy this and thank you all so so much for watching and i will see you all in my next one bye bye friends i walk to you so i can be close to you it's really simple if you look at it that way mm.